This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Melissa Curtis at 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. After a weekend of cancellations and delays due to frigid weather, things should get back to normal soon. Trash and recycling collection will resume Monday. Regular Monday routes and Friday collections impacted by the delay are scheduled for pickup. FCC Environmental asks that all trash and recycling carts be placed by the curb by 6 a.m. Hospital and surgical beds in the metro area are 80% full. 277 staff beds are available. Adult ICU beds are 92% occupied, with 25 staff beds available. 310 individuals are hospitalized with COVID, 90 of them receiving ICU-level care. Among those hospitalized, 10 are pediatric patients. Pediatric ICU beds are at an 87% capacity, with 17 beds available. 47 COVID patients are on ventilators. And I'm 3 News Now weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. Watch for some patchy fog on Monday morning. That could make for some slick spots out there on the roads. Temperatures will be in the single digits for some and low teens for most of the rest of us. At least we will get to see some more sunshine as we get closer to lunch. Temperatures warming into the 20s and low 30s by that point. South winds will get breezy throughout the day too, gusting up to about 25 to even 30 miles per hour. But that and the sunshine help push us back into the mid 30s here in Omaha, mainly 30s for the area. But where there's little to no snow on the ground up in northeast Nebraska, you could see some low 40s for Monday afternoon here in Omaha, though, a high of 36. Again, south winds breezy at times, gusting up to about 25, even 30 miles per hour. We'll continue to warm up as we go into Tuesday, high near 40, but then our next blast of Arctic air arrives just in time for the middle part of the week. Highs will drop back down into the teens on Wednesday. Chance for a few snow showers very late Wednesday into early Thursday. That cold air sticks around too. High of 10 on Thursday, 18 on Friday. We're back in the mid-30s on Saturday before we fall into the 20s again on Sunday.